Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer. Guys, last episode we were only a couple of thousand Dark Elixir away from upgrading the King. Now between episodes I actually did a boost and I believe we have enough Dark Elixir, yes, we have plenty of Dark Elixir to upgrade the Queen to level 18. So that's kind of the main focus today, but also I've got four builders available again because I did do a lot of the cheaper upgrades. I think they were like eight hour upgrades. Now these are the next cheapest gold upgrades and that's the air defense it's only a 12 hour upgrade so we'll see we'll see what we're going to get up to today obviously we're going to continue working on these walls i have to say i'm very disappointed in how this looks it looks awful and i'm pretty sure most of you would agree so without any more delay guys again continuing on with the barch um, i'm going to be barching dead bases as usual you know the best elixir grabbing strategy that there is and um, possibly if somebody out there is in my clan and they feel like donating some bowlers or something into my clan castle, they will. But for now, let's try to find us a lovely, lovely little dead base and go from there. By the way, just a heads up, if you did not know already, you should if you're watching uh, Fix That Engineer. But this is the second video or second Fix That Engineer episode where I'm filming where I have no face cam. And that's because I am still here in... Poland for this CWL. We did our rehearsals yesterday and we're going to be going ahead with some live stream action today so be sure and check it out on the official Clash of Clans YouTube channel or Twitch channel. All that being said though, let's get into it. We have ourselves a, a lovely dead base with over 400,000 golden elixir. You can't get much better than this right here. So I'm going to be looking out for where I can use my uh, barbarians and archers obviously to get as much loot as possible um, and I'm actually being a little bit more tactical usually I'm spamming you guys know that you guys love it I love it I love the spam but a lot of people a lot of people don't like the spam they say it's you know it's a skillless thing but this farming is not about skill farming is about math all right and the math says using barch a cheap army is going to give me plenty of profit and profit is where b uh, farming really is at you got to get that profit so we got our good little barch taking out that it looks very nice do we need this dark that's not a very high level dark let's um let's actually use our barbarians and archers up here oh wait 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 first let's take out this or uh, this wizard tower i always use two groups to uh distract and destroy that wizard tower. There you go. All right. And where? Oh, there's a Tesla. Okay. I was gonna say there is a, a big amount of elixir right here on the left hand side. Uh, but there's a Tesla to kind of stop me. And then there's gold on the other side. So I say what we do here is we spam the rest of our barbarians and archers because I mean we love spam. Spam is good. Spam is great. Uh, we want to get the elixir and the gold out of this bottom side. There's 300,000 gold still remaining. I'm thinking that a lot of it's right here. There's a lot of it right there. But where is that gold mine that I'm missing? Oh, there's oh there's gold in the core. Yeah, we're not going to get that. <laughs> there's no way. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Well, we're, we're after elixir primarily, so it's all good. So, um, barbarians and... Oh! That was an unfortunate mortar shot. Uh, I was just watching it saying, okay, what just happened? All right, so let's do this. Let's go for the... Um, okay, let's send the king into, let me, uh, yeah, let's send the king, no, not to the gold, I was going to send the king to the elixir, okay, let's just send, let's send the queen toward the elixir, there we go, um, can you get that gold, queen, get that elixir, warden, back up the queen, possibly, we'll be able to get in there and possibly take out that max gold mine, that would be, that's my next big goal, or the queen will just go in and try to get an inferno, that's fine too, that's fine too, but that's not quite what I was hoping for, um, Wizard Tower is distracted. Archer Tower was distracted as well. Wizard Tower can't even hit the Queen because she's too far away. Everything's looking okay for now. Uh, but also, again, I've got the Warden's ability here, so everything will be sh should be fine through that. But I'm really focused on trying to get the Queen into the core. We're also running out of time. That is not good, too. What's the Queen going to do? Is she going to go around, or is she going to try to dive in through the wall? Nope, she's going to go around, and we're running out of time. We are running out of time, people. Uh, Queen, if you want to lock on to... Okay, let's pop the, uh, the Warden's ability. And let's see if we can convince the Queen. Come on, Queen. You got this. Go for the gold mine. You don't want... You don't want the gold stores. No. There's nothing in there. Oh, and now... Yep. Yeah, she's dead. We were so close. We got the building next to us. But we didn't get the building... We didn't get the building we were aiming for, which is below the name of the opponent. Dang it, man. Okay, well... Ooh, and we got... Ooh, we got a grand total of six Dark Elixir. That has got to be a record. We got just as many trophies as we got Dark Elixir. That's impressive. I'm Try to do that on purpose. I bet you that you can't. <laughs> anyway, so good. Yeah, 300,000 gold Elixir. Very, very nice. I'm at 9 million gold, 8.5 million Elixir. I don't have any loot in my 
treasury though that's unfortunate but i've got a lot of loot so today's gonna be a good day but let's go ahead and check out oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i did this i was actually sitting next to uh a supercell employee of note whenever this happened and uh it was an impressive moment. They were like, oh wow, nice hit. Yeah, it felt good. It felt good being told nice hit by a Supercell employee. But yes, guys, over 800,000 golden elixir on this base. And this is one of those moments where Spam Barge gets the job done. This is why I want to be in Crystal League, because this is a non dead base, has the ammunition. That Eagle Artillery, it's got ammo. This Inferno Tower, it's got ammo. So it's not a dead base. It's just Crystal League. Crystal League is just stupid in how much loot it has. It's beautiful. So, um, so yeah, um, with my heroes and my wall wrecker and everything diving in, we're end up we're going to end up grabbing 700,000 gold and elixir, and um, it's beautiful. I do miss that on a little bit though. I don't remember how exactly that happens, but check it out. We have archers breaking, and we have now an opening into that gold storage. All this loot down here has been taken. I would like to get this gold storage as well. So how are we going to grab this? And where's the elixir, by the way? I think there's a little bit of elixir in this collector, but I think most of the elixir is probably sitting in the town hall. So let's see, king, oh, okay, we're gonna go all in. King, queen, and warden into that uh, gold storage section. And uh, it, what, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna go in for that elixir collector next? I mean, I don't think there's much in there. It's not a very high level elixir collector. Also, the uh, wall wrecker is being sent in from the right hand side to not only take out that gold storage, but also we want that uh, that wall wrecker to drop off its troops and take out that town hall. So ultimately that's the goal here. Um, didn't even, it's odd, I, I guess, why didn't I go for the dark elixir? I'm, I'm so confused right now, why I didn't, maybe I was a little too starstruck, I was like, dang, uh, Supercell employees watching me do this, I'm just gonna try to get that town hall. So, and, oh, whoa! Oh my goodness! Bowlers OP! Did you guys see that? The bowlers by themselves grabbed that dark elixir out of that storage. That was amazing. I didn't even get the town hall, but who cares? We got the dark elixir out of the storage. That was amazing. All right. Well, that worked out way better than I was expecting. I know I, I did this. It was only last night when I pulled this attack off, but I couldn't remember how it went. So that was amazing, guys. And then now the Eagle Artillery is just going to hammer down on my barge and that is going to be the end of the game. So yeah, 760,000 gold, 742,000 elixir, and 4,500 dark elixir. Much of that, thanks to the bowlers out of that wall wrecker. That was absolutely amazing. Mr. Nice Guy, the guy's name that I attacked was Mr. Nice Guy. I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad. I should not, should not be punking um, Mr. Nice Guy. We should be picking on mean people, not well, not nice people. But it's all good. It's all good. I promise. So, um, let me find one more base, guys. This time I have no heroes, which is going to be a problem. I have no CC, which is also a problem. Um, but it is what it is. This is what happens whenever you are a, uh, whenever you're farming. Obviously, you gotta, he you gotta upgrade your heroes. You don't always have the Book of Heroes. So, you've gotta just work on it. So, here's a good dead tunnel 9. 300,000 golden elixir. That's a good, like, minimum for me. So, for those of you that were curious about what the, you know, my bare minimum is, here it is. We got about 60 barbarians and 70 archers on the bottom. And then I'll do the same thing on the top. Uh, and with this, we'll be able to accumulate plenty of percent. And hopefully all of the collector loot, and it's uh, it's glorious, it's glorious stuff, guys. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get this dark elixir out of the storage. Um, but ultimately, grabbing all of the collector and mine loot is what we're here for. And actually, look at this—we got a pretty nice line of archers. They're gonna grab this gold out of the storage. They're actually untouched. This wizard tower does not know they're there. They does not care. Um, and then what? Hopefully we get... Okay, yeah, this wizard tower is going to just totally troll us right now. No, 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 no. Oh, yes! Never mind. <laughs> we got a couple of archers that are going to sit there and single-handedly wipe out this dark elixir storage. And uh, that is amazing. Plus, we have some barbarians that are working on the wall. They'll be able to help out as well. So, that is perfect. Plus, again, you know, spamming the stuff that got the trash buildings on the outside. So, we did get the 50%, which is ultimately, you know, what we want. We want to gain trophies. We want to get to Crystal League. Uh, so, this is good. This is great. Uh, Barbarians, you got this, buddies. Come on. No, no, no. Don't, don't die. Oh, man. All right. So, every shot from these archers is basically 10 Dark Elixir. So, you get to 10. There's 20. There's 30. There's 40. And it just, it's just going to add up, guys. This is good. Every little drop of Dark Elixir counts, especially because right now, we're upgrading heroes that are super low level, so each upgrade is actually really, really cheap. So every single drop of Dark Elixir that we can grab is totally, totally worth it. So there we go. Got all the Dark Elixir out of there. I think the only Dark Elixir that's remaining is in the Town Hall. So unfortunately, we're going to miss out on that. But that's okay. So decent gold, decent Elixir. 1,300 free Dark Elixir just from a very cheap set 
of Arch. So, now let's bounce into my, not my war base, my progress base here. I haven't used my war base before on a war with this account because I'm trying to fix it. And what can we upgrade? I'm thinking, ooh, here's a good idea. Here's a great idea. First of all, we need to upgrade some walls. So I'm going to probably spend as little gold as possible today to pour as much uh, gold back into the walls. But I'm thinking, we've got a ton of Dark Elixir, right? We should probably upgrade the Queen, right? You know, let's go ahead and do that. That's the first thing that comes to mind. So let's go ahead and upgrade the Queen, guys. Level 18, 80,000 Dark Elixir. I will have 12,000 left over, which is good because I want to upgrade the King as fast as possible to get these babies up as high as I can as quickly as possible. Right now, the level 18 or 17, she is level 17 currently, is a Town Hall 9 level Queen. I have to get her level 30 for her to be considered max level 9, and then we got to get her to level 40 for her to be the max level 10 before she's finally fixed because this is a Town Hall 11 account. Yes, Town Hall 11 feels bad, man. Look at the walls next to it. Oh, it looks so bad. Okay, so let's upgrade this queen. 80,000 Dark Elixir in three, two, one, bam. Nice, and she's already there. She's she's argued with me in the past. She was like, no, I don't wanna go to sleep. And I said, no, you have to go to sleep. She's like, no, I don't want to. And she, I'm like, yeah, you have to. So I'm glad that she finally did what I asked. Now, the next thing is, the elixir, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to upgrade another barracks. I, I've been trying to keep at least one barracks going at a time. These two are maxed out, that's why they're on that side of the wall. So I'm thinking upgrading this barracks will take it to max as well. It'll make Electro Dragons a little bit quicker. And then I have, unfortunately, two upgrades in this barracks. This barracks gotta go to level 12 and then level 13, but I wanna get them maxed out quickly, and I wanna do one at a time. So let's, let's upgrade this barracks, guys. That's a 12 day upgrade, that's horrible, but you know, it's worth it. Let's do this. Four million elixir. That means I've got a lot of elixir left over. I might actually do something else with elixir today. That'd be kind of nice. So let's do this, guys. Big time upgrade in three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right, and then we'll move this baby over. That's where you want to be. Very good. And I have now 4.8 million elixir. Do I have any in the treasury? I don't think so. Nope, treasury is completely empty. We talked about that earlier. So I can't afford this dark barracks. I can afford this barracks, but I do not want to do two barracks at once. It's going to make their armies take forever, but it's only seven days. It's only seven days. It might be worth it. It might be worth it. I might just have to boost. Like every time I want to actually attack, like for a video or whatever, I might just have to boost. That's fine. Boosting's not that expensive. I've got plenty of gems. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Upgrade the barracks in three, two, one. Bam. Oh man, that was probably not the right move. Now I feel terrible. How long is this gonna take? This barge is gonna take 48 minutes per army? Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, that, I probably shouldn't have done that. But hey, at least it's over with now. And that's one less barracks. So now we got, we got two barracks and we got one dark barracks upgrading. That's good. The, the more of that we get done, the better, right? Right? <laughs> okay. Well, at this point, guys, we have no more builders. We got one builder left over. I always laid that one builder for walls. So let's upgrade as many as we can. We got 9.4 million gold. This is this is gonna be awesome. All right. We I don't know if we're gonna be able to get all the walls done, but I'd love to get all of the walls to, to pink as soon as possible. So let's do this, guys. Let's upgrade our walls. That's one. That's oh, they're 2.2 million per wall. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do all of them. Let's do as many as possible. Come on. Let's go. One more line, and okay, now we can't do all these. Um, let's grab this and just notch it. It's gonna be a random amount, and 1.2, oh wow! Holy moly, that was perfect. 1.25 million, I've got 1.252 million. Oh, that was amazing. I love, I love when I win. That was awesome. All right, let's upgrade this in three, two, one, bam. Nice, all right, let's unnotch this baby. Excuse me, excuse me. There we go, that's what I need. And then let's get this guy over here. And there we go, guys. That was over 9 million loot into walls. We're making some crazy fast progress in walls right now. And one thing to consider, guys, is that this is only level 6. Like, I think we need to take these walls level 12 or something for them to be maxed. I don't know. How many walls have I done? I need 55 more. 55 more to go before we're done with these nasty yellow walls. Which, you know, look terrible. So do the pink walls, but it just depends. Like, if you're a Tunnel 5, these walls are amazing. You gotta love those walls. If you're a Tunnel 6, these walls are amazing. But if you're a Tunnel 11, these walls are terrible. And something that I definitely want to rectify as soon 
as possible. But for now, guys, that is going to have to do it for me today. Tons of fantastic upgrades. Trying to upgrade the heroes so this queen's going to level 18. That's awesome. Laboratory's still rolling as well. We had nine days till the barbarians are maxed out. And, oh, I forgot I had a book of fighting. I probably could have used that today. But I'm good. You know what? Getting some barracks, dark barracks upgraded, that's always a good thing. So, uh, wow, actually everything that's upgrading right now is either barracks or dark barracks. We have no gold upgrades happening right now. That's kind of funny, uh, but that's okay. Good, but we need to, we need the walls to be caught up immediately. So that was good. And like I said, guys, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Fix That Engineer. If you did, please hit, hit that like button. Also, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button. Join the Klaus family for daily gaming videos. And remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.